All right, so this is Brush Hollow. So this neighborhood's located um, right next to Mesa Ridge Parkway. And it's called Cross Creek. And this neighborhood's interesting. The boundaries um, are split. So part of the neighborhood goes to District 8, part, part goes to District 3. Um, but we're a choice in state, so a lot of times people just find their favorite school district and that's where they end up sending their kids. Um, and I know it doesn't apply to you guys, but just bringing it up because of course it always begs the question for resale or future rentals. So big open living area here. You can tell this was a, a fix and flip or a contractor job because I mean it's all fresh paint, new flooring, new carpet. You can see ever so slightly um, here, so like drywall patch. I'm being super nitpicky, but just pointing out cosmetically. That is the crawl space, coat closet. This home's in awesome condition though, overall. I mean, it's got some cosmetic little paint stuff, but other than that, it looks great. So sink, toilet, this is a half bath on the main level. This is a nice high definition laminate. Nice cabinetry. It's a cool floor plan, it's very open. Um, but then it also completes the full circle. Kitchen area here, I think you could probably add a little island if you wanted to. Cabinets look like they've all been repainted. Again, a nice laminate countertop. Let's see if I can figure out what this is. I feel individual boards down here, so this feels like a wood laminate. It's kind of that rustic farmhouse look that's very in style right now. So this is nice, separate laundry room, mud room. Oh, and here are all the supplies. Get that, it looks like they've put new windows in, which would make sense. This area was just pounded with hail this summer, so. Um, I'll pull up permits, but just about every home has a new roof. Backyard looks like a blank canvas. You could kind of do whatever you want there. HOE doesn't care about the backyard. They care about the front. You can see no window coverings. You'd have to put drapes or blinds. Gas fireplace there. All right, so this is definitely brand new carpet. And it's a nice color. It has that speckle or fleck, which is super popular for hiding stains. So again, I'm seeing like a little hint of a drywall patch there. All right, so here is the master vaulted ceiling. It has a his and hers closet, which is awesome. Looks like some sort of, I don't know what that is, cable connection? I would have to ask. That'd be a good inspector question. There would be a mountain view here, it's just very overcast. That shine mountain over there. You can see, so this home hasn't had their hail work done yet. It's vinyl siding, so vinyl siding's nice because um, you can power wash it. You don't have to repaint it. But if you get hounded with a hailstorm, it doesn't look very pretty. You 
This is the master bath. That looks like a new tub surround there. So this home has a lot of interest. Um, I haven't asked about how many offers are in, but it's it's kind of a gem because it's newer newer for your built plus refinished inside plus great area plus super close to Carson. So anyways, this would be the type of home where um, we have to go in pretty strong on an offer, but we can talk about that based on what you think of this property. Looks like they haven't put the shelving down yet. It probably was wet paint inside. These are cute size rooms. I mean, it would be perfect to have maybe like a guest room and an office. Um, you could fit a queen bed in or a double bed. I don't think you'd want to try to fit a king. I'm going to turn off these lights so it doesn't look as good for the next showing. Honestly, the only things that have popped out to me have been like cosmetic paint. Which I am sure they have extra paint based on all the work they've done. A little chip in the vinyl there. I think um, adding a like a poured patio here would be really nice, or even just putting pavers so that you could put like patio furniture. Um, like a barbecue. Sink looks like it comes down light above the sink. And that switch would be for the disposal. I think what's nice too is there's still more projects you could do so. If you wanted to upgrade appliances over time, you could do that. I'm trying to walk backwards and grab all the lights here. porch. 